Today, we're gonna learn how to customize any mod that you've downloaded. Most mods that we download, be it from ModRinth or CurseForge, or just through our own standalone means, often come with config files that we can edit to customize the mod to our own liking. This whole video springs up because I had multiple requests on my Elytra bombing video, where I said you can customize the timer of the bomb, but I never said how. Today, we're gonna to specifically look at how to modify the Elytra bombing mod, but this concept will apply to any mod that you download. Now, what parameters are configurable is up to the creator of the mod. And mods have a ton of things you can customize, from tick length, to difficulty, to colors of things. It totally depends on the mod creator. But again, this concept will apply to every mod that you download that comes with a config. So this video will cover how to access your config file, how to customize it, how to save it, and how to verify that it's working in game. So get out that pen and paper, follow along, and let's go customize some mods. Watch out. Because this question arose on my Elytra bombing coverage video, I'll be using that to highlight what we can do with config files. But for people that haven't seen this video, the Elytra bombing mod lets you hold a flint and steel in hand with TNT in your inventory. and release TNT as we flutter towards the ground. But as you saw in my descent, there was a tick warning, meaning that I couldn't spam TNT, and the TNT took a good amount of time to go off. So if I wanna lay waste to this world and all my friends' bases, how can I change this mod? To let me rapid fire some TNT. Well, let me show you. All right, now I'm just gonna open up the corresponding instance of whatever profile I'm loading mods to. For myself as a CurseForge user, it's as simple as going to the mod pack that I want to see the folder of, clicking these three dots right here, and going to open folder. Accessing this folder might be different depending on how you install your mods and your preferred mod client or if you do it yourself. So if you have any questions on that, let me know in the comments below. Moving on, regardless of how you're installing your mods, your folder should look similar to this, minus this .curse client file right here but these folders are what's most important to us right now, namely the config folder. Before we step in there, we of course wanna make sure our mods folder has all of our mods that we could be configuring. Stepping back, we'll go to our config folder. And now inside of our config folder, we're gonna see any mods that do come with a config. Again, as I mentioned earlier, not all mods are configurable, and what you can configure is up to the developer, but any mod with configurations will live in here. We are looking for essentially text files. They could be .json files, .txt, depending on what kind of software you're running, if you've done any programming language work, and what your default open with files are. But really, this can be any form of readable text file. In fact, you don't have to install any software to do this. You can simply open this with Notepad and begin configuring your mod. Now inside Notepad, Elytra Bombing has a very beautifully simple config. Here it just says, how long should the launch TNT's infusion time be? Fuse time, 80. We can make that pretty instant. We don't want it to be zero because that would just blow up right under our feet. But I think 25 should be a healthy tick amount. And how long should the bombing cooldown time be? Now we wanna absolutely lay waste to our friends' houses, right? So this we could set to zero. And that means we could just spray TNT all over the place. And then last one, does TNT have inertia? True would mean that it falls somewhat at the angle that you're moving at. And false would mean that it just plops straight down from the block that you're hovering. I'm gonna keep inertia on. I think it's a cool effect. Make sure we save it. And we're not doing a save as, we're just overwriting the current config and closing it out. Real quick, before we hop back into Minecraft, I just wanna show you a different config file. This one is for camera utils, and this has been opened through Microsoft's VS Code. As you can see, the developer for camera utils has left us a ton of options and parameters to fine tune, adjust, 
change binding keys, modifier keys, zoom sensitivity, GUI settings, true and false and animation settings. So again, maybe you don't care about any of this stuff, but with whatever mod you're working with, these are options for you to adjust and change to your setting. This is just a deeper form of fine tuning your mods if you're into this kind of stuff. In the meantime, I'll save, quit, and let's hop back into Minecraft. So now after making those changes, we should be able to absolutely spam TNT on our descent. Let's find out if we did it right. So maybe we'd want to adjust the tick amount a little more, but that is the general idea of how to adjust the config file for any mods that you install in Minecraft. If you need any assistance and have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment down below. I'll make sure to get to everyone in the comments. And if you are a fan of mods, make sure to check out my other mod showcase videos. Until next time, take it easy and happy modding.